Is that your? It is. Nigga. This nigga playing you the pipe with his chest. You might have bronchitis like, and you ain't got no time for this, bro. Word. You There's need no mic. to take There's your ass. There's absolute you positivity that you I have. To take your ass. And he right. Shout out to Urgent Care. Urgent Care. Bro. I was fucked up. We talked about this earlier. And he said, no, I ain't sick. I'm not. I'm here. I'm what? You saw me yesterday. I couldn't even leave my room. But you breathe yes. bronchitis air, but you're, but you're here. Yeah, I'm getting Bronchitis ain't contagious, you, right? Word, but what? Let's find out. No, you're at, Jesus! You're at the peak of your I contagion. I this. No, I'm not. I'm at the, what's the opposite of peak? The, the valley. <laughs> <laughs> There's a valley? Peak and valleys? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm getting all, better, though. All I know is, my name is... Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Stallion III, a.k.a. Nobody Baraka you, Flocka, a.k.a. Shut your fucking <laughs> mouth, a.k.a. <laughs> Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. I'm no angry. more A.K. <laughs> hey, stop the violence. Bloop. 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 Those I mean, are not gunshots. Those are bloop. Word. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. Those are not gunshots. Yeah. Dog. Do, do you are not you, want me on this are, party? Are you, <laughs> <laughs> right now. are you healthy enough? Are you so, yes, while they finish are you figuring out. Yes, I wouldn't about. be here if I wasn't. Bro, Trust you, me. Bro, Even what they doing. Okay, you know what's your boy? I seen Black, a.k.a. Black Dynamite, <laughs> a.k.a. Way Bixby, a.k.a. Holy Pacaroches. Holy. A.k.a. A lot of a. Coaches, bro. Shabby Ranks. Boop, boop, boop. Shabby Rankin, a.k.a. A.k.a. Swiss what's this? Armin Digger. Oh. Swiss Armin Digger. Well, that's right. Swiss Armin Digger. Goodness. Swiss Armin Digger. And you can't kill me. I'm already dead. Whoa. Whoa, that took a turn. I was yeah. listening to Nas. Sorry. Damn, <laughs> and your, it's your boy, Dramatic, a.k.a. What's your, what, is, what is your iron boy, nigga? What, what is dead may never die. <laughs> he don't know about all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I really don't. A.k.a. Wade Chappelle, a.k.a. Sick James, bitch. <laughs> no. A.k.a. Mr. Mucus. But it's all good. <laughs> Mr. Mucus. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Only people who watch Passing porn that will that probably word. get that. Huh? <laughs> is that what you're imitating, Mr. No, Marcus? I, no, I, I Mr. Just, Marcus. Oh no! no uh. joke. Is that a porn star that just gives everyone? You know who Mr. Marcus yeah. is. Don't front. Yeah. Man. So then, the... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who Mr. Marcus is. <laughs> oh, nigga that wear that same dirty ass fitted. What he be fucking? With. Did he do that on purpose? <laughs> I think so. I, personally, I feel like he did it once, and then he just kept doing it because he didn't care. It was like, I think, are you wearing a fitted? Hell yeah, I wear the fit up, Mr. Marcus. Well, niggas be wearing Tim's and shit, but I figure that's for traction. Yeah, yeah. You know when you but get, that's what socks are when, for. When you get the the Spider Man, and then the niggas yeah. that wear only wear shades. <laughs> oh, that shit's that crazy. crazy, man! Like, why? You but remember, sh- it's all an act, though. You're not like peeking in on I'm people having to, sex. I'm trying to see it. This is a movie. <laughs> trying to see his eyes. I'll try- me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. If I was the gentleman <laughs> performing in the movie, <laughs> oh, you're going to see, see my acting. I'm trying to see myself entering and exiting. <laughs> what would be your porn name? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I feel like I already have my porn name. <laughs> Sir Black oh, Stallion. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that is pretty porny. <laughs> that is pretty porny. <laughs> what about you? I, I know what my stripper name is though. Five, what? Five dollar foot long. <laughs> I've heard you say that one before. I, I don't right. think I don't think I could think of a point name. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I, I asked a man. question and I don't have an answer. <laughs> oh, Long John Silver. There you go. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> What's your porn name? That's Thick terrible. James. <laughs> Thick James, bitch. <laughs> Thicky Lake? No. Ugh. That would be a porn name if you was I'd a probably just have one of those. Funky ass names. <laughs> funky? Funky ass names. Funky. Funky, funky the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga stank, but he fuck good. I guess funky <laughs> and monkey. <laughs> oh, and, and how can we forget our main man over there? That sounds like a Cardi B who um ow. Oh, with, with oh heart, speaking woo, of Cardi B. With our Oh boy! <laughs> Talk about double standards in the music industry. It's insane. What? You've heard of the Cardi B stuff, right? Nah, what's up? So apparently, the uh, old video resurfaced of her where she said, "Oh, I had to do what I had to do to make money." Apparently, she used to remember she was a stripper. Mm-hmm. And she said when niggas wanted to fuck her, she would take them to the hotel, mm-hmm. fuck them, and drug them and rob them. 
And, nah. some, and sometimes have them fuck trannies. <laughs> and she was just proud, like on the video, that's proudly saying this. She and then, everybody was like, where's the outrage? She a hood bitch, man. Like on one hand, duh, you cannot compare it to Bill Cosby. That's an entirely different thing. The drugging is the same. What do you that's mean? wrong. What do you mean? That's that's ho- that's fucking this. That's, no, no, that's I'm not. Crazy. I'm not making light that's of what, what you I'm did. Saying, like you drugging a nigga, you robbing a nigga, you making him do shit that he would also never do. On yeah. top, of no, that. no, no. I no, I agree with you. But the the difference is she fucked them, drugged them, and robbed them. Bill Cosby drugged these women and raped them. But when and they it, still had their money. Would you rather get raped these or guys, robbed? These guys got raped Would you raped rather too? get raped or robbed? All right, first of all, you said you the didn't politically answer my incorrect word. <laughs> so, you said tranny. It's trans person. I was just like, what is the correct word? Because you know it changes every day. I don't know if That's it's why I can't tra- keep up. I don't know if it's still Nobody corrected you. So. But they call it trans or, or trans, um, yeah, transsexual. Transsexual. That's and it. either way, like, does that mean that they got fucked? That's well, no, raped. no. That, see, that's the thing. She didn't say every time she did it, or she fuck, made him fuck a tranny. She said fuck, a couple times they even fucking tranny. Or fucking a dude when he drugged is raping him. No, that is no, I'm not taking away from that. I'm not taking away from I'm what just she did. To argue with your ass. And you're failing. What she did not, is not dis- arguing back, <laughs> what, you mean? <laughs> what she did is despicable. And I'm not taking away nothing from that. But she won a Grammy. And she about to have a statue somewhere in New York or some shit. Mm. They don't give a fuck about that shit unless and it's somebody they don't about like. Harvey Weinstein. I didn't. Fuck that nasty ass. No, I mean the media. That's yeah. What I mean. Oh yeah, of course. You're not a media. They're only gonna push um, R. Kelly and Bill Cosby to the forefront. Yeah, but I mean, and Michael Jackson. I mean, it happened to niggas. So who gives a fuck? In the grand not to mention, things. even though Michael Jackson, every single time was no, he was only went to trial once, right? Yeah. Or was it oh, twice? speaking of that, not apparently, guilty. apparently the person who um, was making that new documentary, mm-hmm. apparently, um. Some some new information surfaced, and whoever is making the accusation, um, um, they said it couldn't have been there. Yeah, because the dates don't line up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And yeah, this nigga went you know, out enough. his way, got funded by Oprah to make this documentary. Fun, fun. Then he's just saying there's absolutely no way the dates lined up. Like, how could you tarnish and a man's name? I don't believe this I, is being publicized, but like his niece and nephew, I don't know if y'all remember, he had these nephews um, that had that group. They were called Three T. Yeah, like Tito's kids or yeah. whatever, and um the 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 lead singer from that him and um Michael Jackson's niece, I think the little um the little white girl, <laughs> the um, white girl's his daughter, Paris. You talking about Paris? Not Paris. Oh, uh, but well, his, his, well, these are Tito's kids, I believe. Or okay, one you talking about when they went on the Breakfast Club and shit? No, 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 no. This was like more recently. They're on a podcast, um, called if I, I'm I hope I don't say the wrong name, but it's like. You know, unspoken truth or something like that. Okay. Uh, that I watch on YouTube sometimes, and uh, they were actually interviewed on that one. They were like, you know, it's kind of fucked up because you know, Oprah has always presented herself as like Michael Jackson's friend and a friend of the family, mm-hmm. and then turn around and do this uh, when she knows that these things are false. Like, so we're just like on a campaign to really clear our uncle's name because this is not the person they're trying to claim he was. Mm. And we all know that these were false accusations. It can all be proven that they're false accusations Mm -hmm. and, and, but they're not being publicized. Mm. Yeah. A key detail about these lower level, um, um, reading this from complex, a key detail about the leaving Neverland documentary might have been incorrect. Michael Jackson accuser James Safechuck claims he was abused at the Neverland train station from 88 to 92. The station wasn't built until 93. Look at that shit. And then, I don't know if it was him, but one of them went under oath. They were in trial and they said Michael Jackson never did anything to them. Right. That's That was the first thing I thought of when um when they made this documentary. Like, mm-hmm. what, what happened to the court documents? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. said it under oath. It's just yeah, insane. Yeah. So is he going man. to jail for perjury? Is that it's what's going to happen? Bro, like... Like, it, come on. It's a, it's a check for these niggas producing the film. Yep. And it's also... um. You know, distraction in the media and, and slander on Michael Jackson's yeah. name, another black legend. And I hate to say it because she's done so much and she's a great inspiration for not only black women, but black people, period. But Oprah's a roach for that shit. Her and Gail King. Mm. Yeah. But they're both roaches for that Saying shit. They, that she pre- yeah, coming out as like... Oprah oh, be spotty sometimes. Uh, like but sometimes she's always been spotty. She, she's like, she didn't fuck with hip hop and all of a sudden she cool with Jamie Foxx. And yeah. having him perform his <laughs> album on her show when she was back then. 
Uh, I'm even like going back. Yeah, remember? Oh like, yeah, the, yeah. She, she been was on always this. talking shit about hip hop. Yeah, and now, <laughs> now when hip hop's profitable, it's like okay. Oh, mm. what's the name? Is another great example of that Miley Cyrus. I don't know if you um remember she was in the whole hip hop thing and then mm. she stopped talking about oh I can't do it anymore. All they talk about is bitches and drugs and hoes and money and da da da. Bro, trying to get now back she's her, right back in. Trying to get she back. took a picture of her coming out of pool with golds in her mouth and you, jewelry you on. Know, and bitch, everything. how much hip hop do you talk know? about? Drip drip. I'm mean, oh, you know hypocritical ass. Bitch. You know what that was? She's trying to get her. She's trying to get her country fans back. She's trying to get that check. Yeah yeah yeah. Because yeah, yeah. till mm-hmm. recently that was the bag, bro. Country music. Yep. Oh, yeah. But still. Nah, it's, dub, dub, it's, still, it's still kind of a bag. Bro. Yeah, it, was, it is. It, but, but more so than than, than hip hop. A lot of people didn't know that. But then, you know, and, and that demographic, bro, like, I mean, it they, may- they, they, their view on hip hop is like, it's automatic. They talking about drugs, this, da, 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 da. They, they don't give it a time of day yeah, or even me. listen to what they. What it even if it if it, even if it is talking about drugs, crime, what do you, what are they saying about this subject? That they don't even want to hear it. Precisely, and that makes sense that country music is bad because, I from from what I read, two these two people buy the most albums: white people mm. and children. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that um, country has a hold of those two fans there, of course. Mm-hmm. And then, then you heard the but then streaming is like bomb. Oh yeah, streaming is just that stupid. Just, that just broke the matrix. Yeah, it, 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 streaming and YouTube and all because mm-hmm. you can make money off YouTube now. Well, now yeah. you've been you been can make money off. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, playing video yeah. games. Yeah, like yeah. You, they're counted as um I think a certain amount of YouTube plays as an album sale now, right? Yeah, along yeah. with streams, a certain amount of streams as an oh, album oh, they, sale. Yeah. Oh, they they count YouTube as well. I think so. Uh, don't don't quote me. I'm not the yeah. aficionado on this shit. But and then you saw the little um thing with um this kid named Lil Nas X. I know you heard about that. He's got that um, oh, song, Old Town Road. Yeah, man. I, I got the horses in the back. Horse talk is attacked. You never heard that song? Nah, <laughs> that shit slap. I ain't going to lie. I saw they pulled it, right? Yeah, it was, it was charting. Like it was, it was number one on Billboard, I think. It was definitely number one on uh, um, iTunes, on Apple Music. For real? And then um, uh, the uh, Billboard pulled it from the country charts saying, oh, it's not traditional. Uh, Traditionally, a country song. Wow. Did you hear it? Wow. He talk about horses, cowboy hats, wranglers cheating on his he's girl. That is country he's shit. Just a black country singer. It's like country trap. If you listen to oh. it, it sounds like a perfect fusion of trap and country music. Wow. And that shit slaps. That no, shit really like does slap. That, 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 that yeah. hip hop. That hip hop. So um, but they fuck with Post Malone. Though. Thank you. That nigga's never rapped a day in his life. Don't he get every day he get Post some Malone country award? Every day, oh, no, fuck that, no, fuck, no. They want to take Lil Nas X out of the country charts, but they don't want to take Post Malone out of the hip hop charts. He's not hip hop. Mm. He's barely rap. He sings. He's, he's he harmonizes on every. Fu- he doesn't spit. He's fusion. He, Word. But he's he's high on the charts. He's selling records, sell out shows, and all that shit. But it could, but at it, the same time, I can't be mad nah, at Post Malone because you, you, know so like, you know what? You know what? You know what? I never heard him spit. No, you know I mean like is? not spit, but he flowed. <laughs> my a, bad. It's a long racial lines, dog. Oh, of course, of course, it is. of course. If it's you, not if a question you, of this if you're point. a black person and you make um, music, automatically it's hip hop. Yeah, exactly. If it can't you, be anything else. If you got an accent, it's reggae. And then, you, <laughs> and then you ignorant niggas gonna bring up, oh, what about Darius Rucker? You know what Darius Rucker is? Nah, I'm B. Hootie and the Blowfish? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Hootie and the Blowfish, Darius Rucker? Is Darius? Yeah, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. It is Dar- yeah. Rucker? Yeah, Rucker? Darius Rucker. Yeah, damn, I'm bugging. Darius, wow, Rucker. I forget his name. Yeah, uh huh. I know you talking about. Yeah, but like it's it, it's it's crazy how when you try no, to. He has a black ass first name and a white ass last name. I don't want to. Nah, that, the last name is 50-50. The first name is definitely hundred percent. He got crazy, his voice crazy. Yeah, boy. yeah, that yeah, voice yeah. is iconic. <laughs> And he's gonna be that. paid forever off that song, yeah. like for the rest of his natural boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the young, and you the know, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you die, that's your fault. Your immune system sucks. Anyway, <laughs> nigga, we're talking about dying, nigga. I'm talking about missing work. What the fuck? <clears throat> Shit, boy. Jesus. Mm. We ain't trying to catch that bronchitis. Right from the depths of the. Bronchial cages. Oh yeah, that is not medically correct. Don't listen to me. I'm not a doctor. I'm a podcaster. No, that's obvious. Because <laughs> yeah. if you're a doctor, you wouldn't be here con- contaminating niggas. Yeah. You always wonder that. Like basically, 
Do doctors get sick and they ramble themselves? Like they heal themselves with the shots and all that? Or do they go to another doctor? As like, soon as they get There's the, like this, a secret doctor's as soon as they get <laughs> healing the sniffles, they healing growth. And yeah, like, <laughs> I'm sick. Come I knew this day would come. Because <laughs> personally, I've never seen a sick doctor. I think I, I, think I have a migraine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gone. <laughs> now you have the never, strength of a thousand now horses. Never have a migraine for the next ten years. <laughs> Come back but you might die in five. So wait out. Word. Whoa, 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 whoa! That was morbid. Yeah, you right. chose this life. <laughs> the life did not choose you. you ain't, I ain't signed a paper before you stabbed that shit in my neck, cuz. <laughs> you don't have to. You're a doctor. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Speed of doctor. Shout out to my nigga Rel. Word, true. Yeah, shout out to one of the greatest black doctors out there. Word. Dr. David. Dr. David. Dr. Shout, David. Out, shout out to the sister in Alicia. Boom, yes. boom, boom, boom. And shout out to all our nurse shout homies. Out to in Word. These streets. Crystal, la, 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 la. Shout out to Crystal, la, la. Shout out to la, la, la. The, pronu- the and her right profession. pronunciation is a la, la, la. A la, 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 la. She told me to tell you I stopped fucking the name up. Cool. But yeah. Fade <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the medical professionals that we homies For real. with. Word. Word. <laughs> My sister. Hell yeah. My mom. Y'all, y'all, y'all. No, honestly, like anytime. health administration, I could yeah, yeah. I could I couldn't do that shit though. I can't even. I don't even like being in hospitals, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, I like. I could do that. Shit. If any well, of that shit touches shit. me, that's why I would spaz out. Yeah, like I'm a, I can I'm a see germ- it happen. I'm a germ. But that shit like boop. I'm gonna pass out. Nah, yeah. if it touches me, nah, like, I, nah, I could do like the the rehab shit, like inpatient rehab or something like that. But yeah, because there's no fluids involved. Yeah. <laughs> any, no, I, any, <coughs> any blood, oh, oh, Jesus. Any, blood, oh, relax, man. Jeez. Any, any blood, so urine, dramatic. shit, touch me, I'm done. Yeah, but like, yeah. I'm fuck going this degree. Home. I will go be an old person's personal nurse or something. Fuck that, nigga. You, that you even worse. That yeah, yeah, that's true. You, you gotta see it. some shit, bro. No, the bedpan. Oh, the like, to t- age oh, is a like, mother. I t- like, I took care of my grandmother a little bit, knowing like, mm. yeah, sometimes shit be weird, dog. Like, mm. it's. But it's like that's different when it's somebody like a loved one. Like I don't yeah, know if I could take it. care of a stranger. Word. Yeah. Like see some random I mean, old nigga dick. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's all <laughs> like <laughs> yes sir. Oh no, I quit. Uh, Mr. Fuck Johnson, that. put on Mr. your Johnson diapers. Johnson ain't no sponge bath going on in here, Mr. Johnson. Put on your diapers, please. <laughs> He's like, yeah, boy. You should have seen when that shit worked. Yeah. Uh, hey, you know what though? Hey, we, them. hey, get your walker. We going outside. Oh. I'm gonna get the hose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is abuse. Your ass down. That's, that's, abuse. that's what them dog. Them old heads stay trying to like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got your, you got yourself a girlfriend, young buck. Back in my day, I was just slaying that butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I got eight girlfriends right now. <laughs> you want my girlfriend to give you a bath? <laughs> Because I ain't gonna, because I ain't gonna do that shit. <laughs> Shout out to them creepy old people. You shouldn't leave your kids around. Whoa, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll punch old person in yeah, nah, I would definitely <laughs> beat the old person up they tried to. Keep play. <laughs> Keep play. <laughs> Keep play. <laughs> that is so not on. To, yeah, today on Reasons We Beat Up Old People. <laughs> you touch my kids. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next episode. <laughs> of reasons Park in my beat pocket old space. <laughs> <laughs> you, you step on my shoes. <laughs> you, you know, honestly, the only time I don't get mad at old people is when they're driving. Like, if I'm driving on somebody and they're driving slow and I go around them, I get ready to cuss them like, you son of a like, oh, it's an old lady. I, no, I just get mad at Just keep going. I can't even get mad at them. They, 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 they used the technology to make cars cuss. No, for real. Not <laughs> <laughs> How fast is this thing going? <laughs> 50 miles per hour. You know what I just thought of the other night? Um, I was watching TV and it was a it was a commercial um, with Joe Namath. And he was oh his he, old ass yeah and he was like um advertising for like some type of like Medicaid and stuff like mm-hmm. that oh I think I saw that word word and I I I just started thinking like duh like there's gonna come a day where you're gonna see like LeBron Cam Newton no. oh, you know what I'm saying Shaq Dude, is already there we're doing that nigga's doing in, Ben Gay yeah. doing at, good, no Shaq is. Nah, Shaq it's levels, dog. Shaq is in fifty percent of commercials on TV right now. No, but yeah, Shaq he's doing he's doing middle aged shit commercials. <laughs> yeah, like insurance. Do you have your car he's insurance? Not doing insurance. Are your gold bond? Are your ankles Rogaine. starting to hurt? Joe Namath, he doing whole whole people shit. Yeah, like it's yeah. your time. You're like alert. Alert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Do you have a final expense account? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> they, they stop trying to they stop trying to heal you at a certain point. 
Are you ready for your last Tuesday on Earth? <laughs> <laughs> you got to get tacos. I'm just saying. For real. <laughs> and they don't serve tacos in the nursing home. So. <laughs> That's oh a joke God. around here. We get tacos every Tuesday because you never know it's going to be your last. For real. I never thought we'd have a segment on this podcast roasting old people. Right? We're not roasting old people. We're roasting That's life. That's a very vanilla thing to say, dog. What? what? You never know which Tuesday is going to be your last, so we do Taco Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Bad. You have niggas eating bro, tacos. You, like, bro, the shit that be on, that's mild, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that is that's mad. That, that's mild shit talk. If you they, get offended by that, man, hey, realize, there's some shit out there. They just like <laughs> traditions, man. Mm. They like they like ritualistic shit, like mm. shit that we do regularly. Everybody yeah. does. That's cool. That has a, a hook. Yeah, that's great why, example. That's why brunch is, is yes like a, brunch. Is, is yes. we gentrified the fuck out of brunch. Yes, Bro, we did. Everywhere. See, <laughs> see, this is why. This is why, and this is why I don't. I don't brunch anymore. Actually, like I like hard. I used to do that shit. I literally yeah. The pricing went up, man. I went to I I I I legitimately did brunch twice, and that's it. I can't even count many times. I'm yeah, doing. I've done brunch way too many times, and I've I've had my fill. The moment I the moment I paid thirty dollars for breakfast <laughs> and some watered down liquor, I was just like, nah, <coughs> you, man, I, I ain't doing this. Again. That was your total, nigga. <coughs> I don't remember how much I dropped on my brunch. Man, it was probably thirty dollars for like, most what alone. The fuck yeah, it's like twenty dollars for unlimited. Most places you go now as a man, twenty and fifteen, which yeah. is horrible. Yeah, and then, and it's like okay, unless you can get away with drinking somebody else's, but some places you can't. <laughs> so you got to do the unlimited. Right, oh no, they so do they, the unlimited, and then they cut that shit down. My bougie ass palate. I always you do want have something that has like. You know, I need to see something on your menu that jumps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, I don't know, dog. They're getting lazy with dog. Come on, have yeah. some chicken and waffles. I can't lie though. I had uh, I had brunch the other day, and I got a funky version of steak and eggs, mm-hmm. where it was filet mignon. It was like sliced up, and they mm-hmm. topped it with a um, sunny side up egg with aioli sauce or something. It was pretty mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. And it had a hash brown under it. Oh, that's fr- I know where you got that from. We're not shouting nobody out. But I know you got that yeah, from. Yeah, you know. yeah, that's a good version of it. Yeah, it was pretty it was good. very neat. It's yeah, neat. exactly. It's yeah. fucking neat. Word. And they make good steak even though I got sick from their ass twice. You know, I am calling their name out. Fucking Tap 42. I got sick <laughs> from two separate locations, <laughs> dog. Damn. The new Aventura location. They gave my money back both times, though, so I ain't tripping. I oh, good. Back. Okay, good. <laughs> Cause I love steak. <laughs> yeah, lie. I just when I go there, I tell them medium well instead of medium. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> see, like the only the only thing with brunch is like, personally, I feel like people just do it in excess. Like you got to brunch every Sunday. Of yeah, that's a lot. But if you got that's it, wild. I'm like, I'm like nigga, you, nigga, you don't. Time. No, if you got it, by and all means. I'm like, it's like nigga, Sunday, you... I want to vibe. Like I don't want to yeah. look and be like, oh shit, the sun's coming down and I'm lit as fuck and I gotta take care of myself now and get ready for, for real. And you fuck around. Oh shit, I got errands. You go take you, your dry clean yo, and drunk as fuck. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I went to brunch and came home and said fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> my room, my laundry. I got shit to clean. Like, why did I get drunk before noon? <laughs> Bro. I'm like, no, but yeah, listen. But not, day drinking I'm, is so much fun. It is. It is it. fun. But when, usually when things friends. that are things that are that fun have a terrible downside. Yeah, they have a terrible downside. Just how you too. it's fun drinking out late when you wake up with a hangover. Imagine having a hangover and the sun ain't really set yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. no. it's it's nothing wrong with brunch, I but any it. Anything week, week it, to week, dog. You don't go to church, my nigga. Like, God, hey. yeah, for real. Like, Ever, bro? Anything in excess in is too while, much man. for you. Because I brought, I bet, uh, <laughs> I bet. I've been to brunch no. more than church uh, bro, in the last five years, bro. bro it's oh, terrible. Damn. Bro, bro, church attendance then went down forty five percent because of yeah, brunch, and, then, and then they play, and then they play shit like I love my life and <laughs> I am blessed at brunch. Well, and, <laughs> I said, and, said, <laughs> and said, boom, and call it a Sunday, dog. Oh, no. Two o'clock on Sunday. Hey, but they say, they say grace over their food, though. That counts for something. <laughs> right? <laughs> so no more excess huh. brunch. That's the name of this episode. No I'm more like, hey, brunch. Sunday. And stop running the price up on shit when black people start doing it. Yeah, you know, fuck man, faces. You bitch ass, fuck face ass niggas. But we're going to start buying up the block. I'm like black them. people. For stop real. Stop falling for that shit. Y'all be re- jumping into hype too much, bro. Yeah, stop I'm jumping into yeah, hype. Hype? Fucks up black people Look, money, dog. Yes. Yeah, hype just like the sensationalism around another 
unfortunate killing. Word. And yeah. Yo. So we got to say a, a, a very serious and Damn. heavy. I was about to crack another Rest joke. in power. I'm so sorry. You for be doing that, that shit, dog. You be like. Right before Paul cracked his But it was joke, a good transition, I'm going to transition baby. into the into That's the, the only time I do good transitions when I fuck your shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right, Damn, terrible, no. terrible. JK, man, we're we going to work on that individually. For real. Next time we need to work on our, on our timing. For real. Yeah, but, a big, like, but it all serious is like yeah. a big, heavy rested power to, to the Bad Dipsy Hustle because he... I'm sure anybody can say, even if you didn't listen to his music, I know you watched his interviews. Mm-hmm. And I know he. I'm putting this one up for him. I know you. I know he motivated you to be not just a better individual, but if you were of culture, if you were black, especially, he motivated you to be a better black person and mm-hmm. aware and conscious of your community. Because mm-hmm. multifaceted, and, um, and multi multifaceted. Because he was not just a rapper. He Word. was a business. You don't have man. to he, rely on this rap money, man. Dog, he yeah. damn near bought the whole building. He did buy that. The whole he used building, to travel. I don't think he got to the whole building. He did. He, he was. He's on the way, but. The whole block. His brother is probably gonna, you know, continue. Yeah, and his brother and, was basically his business partner. And yeah. they lost one of their other business partners in 2017, Fats, who started oh, yeah. kind of started with them. And it's really fucked up that this yeah. has happened. And um, Bang, but right, right but, when the success, you know what I'm saying? What hurts me, dog, is right that, when he started getting them real nods in the industry. Bro, yeah, like yeah, I feel man. like he was just about to start enjoying. The fruits of his labor. Yeah, bro. he got the Grammy nomination from being completely independent. Bro, like, bro. Man, this shit's crazy, man. Dog, the potential, dog. Yo, know, it's always the ones with potential. And he was dog. always dope. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a. The guy that actually killed him was in rap niggas' music video right next to him. That's what That's they, crazy. Yeah. They be your own niggas. That's crazy. They be man. your own niggas, but, man. And on top of that, though, and I know everyone's going to say, oh, it's conspiracy, he's doing. Documentary on Dr. Sevi, blah blah blah. And y'all, mm-hmm. y'all could all give me your take on this too, and um, but I do feel that has part to do with it too. It's all speculation at the same time, yeah. Because you know anybody could get paid to do something. If you want to flip it that way, I'm not saying I believe it's that, but I will say, regardless of whichever way, I'm gonna wait. Let me hear y'all opinion first. Well, I mean, initially, I thought it was just a fuck nigga when I first heard it, like. Like it's crazy how how news breaks on Twitter. Like I remember, I, I found out Michael Jackson died on Twitter before anywhere, mm. even before TMZ. I don't know how. Dang. But it's crazy how um how shit um comes on Twitter. Like some girl was at the plaza and she like she posted a video like oh somebody just shot Nipsey. I'm like what? This man is out here trying to buy the block, better is his community, and all that. And then some fuck that. nigga rolled up and shot him. Then you know one of my Twitter followers like well you know it's not. It's not. It's not fully that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you know what I'm saying? So it's just. I want to say. But the thing, thing is, it's, I don't think that's Buddy in the video. That don't look like him. Yeah. The person that they released. I think that's just some. That and that's they, two. That's, that's two things I saw like that. They posted another picture and they circled some dude and it wasn't. Him. Yeah, it, it didn't like really him. look like. It him. don't look like the suspect. It don't really look like him. But the thing is, like, I don't, as think, I, it, I don't think it was anybody in his immediate immediate circle. But no, they said I it. I follow some people that like. They look like it's another crib. Yeah, uh, no, like, care? cause there's a there's another rapper, um, um, Pac-Man, um, Pat, I think it's Pac-Man the Gunman or something like that. I, I know you're talking about. Yeah, um, he's actually pretty nice, dog, and he was kind of like, um, Nipsey's protege. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like, I don't think it was anybody in, cause like from what I gather from his social media, I don't think he knows who did it. Yeah, from from all right, the, the story that's out now is that. Um, Nipsey went back to that store to go help help his homeboy who just got out of jail. He just did a bid, mm. and he said without question, Nipsey left the crib and go, you know, meet him at the store to get him fresh, you know, buy him clothes or whatever, you know, see his homeboy. Mm. I guess when he got there, this dude shitty cuz was there, and he's a known rat, like he's a known snitch. Mm. And Nipsey told him like, you can't be right here, like we don't fuck with you like that. Mm. And he said he got embarrassed, and then came back and shot Nipsey. Mm. And that's what it. And, and that's, that's what the they say in the story is. And yeah, that's what they say in the story. Which is. sounds so stupid it to does, me. Bro. Like, all right, no, no. Like, on one no, hand, it doesn't sound stupid because niggas niggas are die like over that. stupid shit. Niggas, yeah, are like niggas that, are like but, that in the hood. Jealousy, but of at the same time, shit. no, that sounds stupid. Like completely stupid. Knowing what you, do. I get whatever. Niggas are stupid sometimes. Let's hear your opinion, Mister. I was about to say your real government last name, <laughs> uh, Mr. Zulu. <laughs> Bro, that is my government name, but um, nah. <laughs> but uh, I 
I don't rule none of it out, to be honest with mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Um, could he could he have been flipped by some other power who would see you know would like to see him gone? I think so. Um, could it have been just you know a hating ass nigga? Like, I th- you think so? That's probably the most likely scenario. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't rule out none of that though, because they, it's they have had a history of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, that's like, that's that's typical shit of him. And, and I feel like they wouldn't do it so much now because you know you can create a you create mortars and you know further the movement even more. Oh, martyrs, yeah. Okay. You know, ma- what did I just? Martyrs, he said mortars. Mortars. Martyrs. martyrs. <laughs> but all right, the thing is, like you know, people on social media say, "Oh, you niggas so dumb. Not everything's a government conspiracy." Da da da. My only concern is the amount of trust people put into this government. Right. Yeah. The government they claim is shifty and underhanded right. and crooked. So before, you don't think that they would be capable of something like this? I, I want, let, I want let, you, let's let's say all right. Let's say it's not, but you don't think they're capable of this. You don't think it's a coincidence? Wait, so before you, wait, wait, before y'all say that, the reason I asked y'all to give y'all opinion first before I finish mine, right? Because mm. I want you to finish this too, and please hold your thoughts because I want y'all to say that it's important. I was going to say that everything that's happening here, regardless of what the reason is, all those reasons that they could be that we're speculating are still absolutely and wholeheartedly systematic. Mm -hmm. They're 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 a result of the system Mm -hmm. that is designed to keep us in a certain place. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to sound like angry black person. I'm just trying to say think logically. Mm -hmm. The reason. You got jealous niggas in the hoods because you done packed a bunch of people with no money in the same area mm. and you got a bunch of niggas trying to make it out and other niggas that get to the point where they shady as fucking don't give a shit. Yeah, that's all they and know. Don't give that's a all they and, now, and it is systematic because all of these, that nigga's daddy probably was in jail or one of his uncles was probably in jail. A lot of these, our millennial generation parents was in jail, mm-hmm. okay? And all that started happening in the 80s, all right? And so that's why you have more. There's no. There's not a lot of OGs anymore. So you don't have these young gangsters. They, take they don't have respect for life. They don't have respect for elders. Mm-hmm. They don't have respect for children. So you got kids getting shot and drive bys. You got kids getting shot up in their house. It's, it's just. Ha- it's happening because it's it's all systematic. Yeah. So if a nigga got paid to do it because it was the government because Nipsey Hussle was doing a documentary on Dr. Sebi, mm-hmm. or if it was a jealous nigga that was just like. Man, he just embarrassed me, and I'm mm. tired of people calling me a snitch, even though he might really. He really they said is he's a, a well. He really is a snitch. And he's like, even if it was that, that's still part of the system too. Yeah, that's all. That's systematic. a very good point. So that's the fact of the matter point, is, cause, cause we they, we can't they, forget mm-hmm. because they because even even the way they police, mm-hmm. they know how the street works, mm-hmm. so they know what they do when they create informants, but then. <clears throat> Like you said, and um, that's an excellent point, and I agree. And um, I want to, I want to finish my thought real quick. So when you look at all that, and so acknowledging this, knowing that it's systematic, you can't forget the knowledge that Nipsey Hussle put out there. Now he has a body of work. Go and watch his interviews. If you don't want to go read a book, go listen to one of his interviews, man. He's gonna teach you about the ways to, as a community, change the way. Teach the economy invest. works, yeah. and and change the way we look at ourselves. And he been on that, yeah, from 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 jump. Yeah, that old video here when he had the curly hair. Yeah, yeah. when he even had the beard and like, all I'm that. Trying to own land. Man, let's talk about owning land. The interview was like, wait, what was what did you just say? Where he's like invest in land. And that interview it was dope too because he was on it, but he, he was just like surprised to hear it. From yeah, young yeah, from such yeah. a young rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and speaking of his and music. Remember he sorry. Remember he owns a hundred percent of his masters. He owns mm. everything. So the more you stream and shit, Word, that's a the more money for his family. Yeah, and then you know be, be able to pay. For, I'm sure they can still pay for funeral costs and everything, but they'll still be able to dog, make money make from that those shit streams. Go platinum, and all that. dog. For make real, sure, just turn sure, on your Spotify sure, and let it ride. Make sure his kids' kids don't want for nothing, man. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. make sure that. He's taken care of. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> and all you dumbass. Oh, you you guys are Nipsey fans now. So the fuck what? Bro, that's not even that. Like I've been a fan of as a person. I remember being at in Broward Community College when it was Broward Community College, 
back in like 08. Because you value my homeboy like being McLean. underground and knowing about shit and when other people kind of invaded that space of, oh, all of a sudden you're talking about this person I talk we about We should chill the in the time. crib and listen to Nipsey. Yeah. No, yeah. honestly, I would rather you um listen to somebody that I listen to that I don't think you listen to. Mm. So the music is spread and you can hear the, the, the dope shit I'm listening to. Word. There's the same thing with Sean Price. May he rest in peace. He died in 2015. And everybody's, oh, all of a sudden they listen to Sean Price. Yeah, listen to Sean Price. He's yeah, dope. He's dope. Word. You know and what I'm saying? Same thing with Nipsey. Timeless. Listen to Nipsey. He's but, uh, dope. And when what's it's, the, what's when the motivation? Like, what are you mad at? No, it, no people, people people just want attention. That's people, all it is. People people showing love to somebody you you claim you you admire. What's, you should what, be happy. That's the, so weird to me. You know what I'm saying? All these people riding a wave. Shut up. Yeah, yeah you nah, niggas is you up, niggas is bro. weirdos. Yeah. Somebody, so, I, but because like you don't expect balls, people bro. to react. It was like, oh, this person died. Well, I didn't listen to his music, so fuck. Like, you, what do you expect? Yeah. Like, oh, so, and then so, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. So, oh, I was. Say, say what you're saying. No, and then um, I don't know if it was last year, or a couple years back. He made a post on Instagram that was homophobic, mm. where um, he posted like a picture of like a bunch of black men and young black men. It's, it, I think it was like a summit or something. He was he was basically saying this is how the um the media needs to portray us and view us. Not drug dealers, not gang bangers, not. Not homosexuals, blah blah blah, and mm. you know, of course, they ripped them. They the wanted to rip them on that. And then you're gonna see the people on Twitter, the you know, the gay people, the trans people, whatever, talk about, oh, Nipsey Hussle died, the homophobic one. You expect me to feel sorry? You expect me to feel sorry? Like, oh, that's disgusting. You niggas are the roaches of the ro- I don't care if you're that's gay, trans, straight, or whatever. You speaking ill on a dead man, a father, a son, a uncle, a husband. It yeah, doesn't matter over what, his opinion. Over, over his, his opinion, opinion. he did. He's, he didn't. You niggas is and, anyway, bottom of the so barrel like, roaches. Word. And, and speaking a very, the truth, a dog, very, they do. Yeah. They and, do and push that um a they, feminine well, shit. Well, they I do they try to demasculate the the um and, black man. And absolutely, and, and yeah, because a lot of times in media, the the only times you would see a black character sometimes it would be like the homosexual dude. Do do do. It's like damn, like you had to you had to go through certain lanes just to get a part, really. Like you guys either gangbanger, you was like a gay dude, or you was you know wearing a dress or something. Yep. And like, but regardless of that, like we can't allow all of this, these conversations that are negative, skew the knowledge that he was trying to spread. Mm-hmm. Not trying to that he was spreading. Mm-hmm. That the the fact that we gotta wake up and like actually be conscious of. Our heritage, and he was that way because he grew up in a household mm-hmm. that promoted this. He was always his mom always pushed education, mm-hmm. always pushed education. And then he found out like his name. I think his name means like God shines through or something like that. Sent by God. Sent by God. Oh, okay. And like so, his name is what? Am- Amarius. I don't oh. want to say it wrong. Amarius Ashgadon. I-, I believe. I believe so. I and, think that's um, the best I'm gonna pronounce it. And. Aramis. Or Aramis. Is it Aramis? No, no, no. It's Aramis. I thought it was Aramis. Nah. But I, I found the Instagram. It, it's caption. not that. It's with an E. And then home. and it's a I A S at the end. Oh. But um he Aramis, So he found out he's think, yeah. he found out he's African, you know, he's um Eritrean. Eritrean or Eritrean. Man, I'll be Eritrean. saying the wrong name. <laughs> I'll be like, Eritrean? That nigga Eritrean cuz nah. <laughs> um, but he found out he's Eritrean and that was his where his pops is from. And he even went to Africa. He, he went to Africa on. with his siblings and he met his grandmother there and um, wow. all that stuff. So like he got to really get a, a deeper consciousness and identity. Mm. So that paired with his, you know, um, ingraining of uh, his priorities of education that were mm-hmm. ingrained by his mother, mm-hmm. you know, put those two together with with a sense of self and knowing where you're from. Mm. Yo, took him out, man. Mm. Yeah. So, just know that you gotta. So what he what we can learn from this is know yourself, mm-hmm. have pride in yourself, and and have love for yourself, and then and now educate yourself mm-hmm. because if you continue to do that. And you use that education that you that knowledge that you gain from the educ from the educating of yourself, you apply that to your life, 
and you can get the things and be successful the way Nipsey was. And then there'll be more of us out there like exactly. that. Exactly. And can't eventually they all. can't kill us all. Or and when you say they can't kill us all, don't put me as some conspiracy theorist. I'm saying they can't kill us all systematically because yeah. a jealous nigga is still an effect of the system. Yep. I'm trying to bring it back around. Y'all need to open up your minds. Absolutely. So like, you're right. So just just continue to to think that way. And you know, people. People are going to lose. You know, some of us, is, some good ones will go down. Mm -hmm. But you have to keep going. You can't just, like, be scared and stop and act like Steve Harvey trying to chuck and jive and shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised that nigga ankles ain't broke with all that tap. <laughs> <laughs> speaking, um, speaking of Nipsey's father, his father was an activist. Oh, Back when, um, like during yeah. the whole apartheid thing and everything. Yeah. Yeah, there's a picture There's a picture of um his dad in, like, a, um, um Nipsey's father, DeWitt. As Gadam was a Marxist activist during the struggle for Eritrean independence, he was one of the demonstrators in his 1975 pictures of Eritrean protesters in New York City. He's in the far right, and he's holding up a sign that said "Down with Apartheid and Imperialism." Mm. So it's it's in his blood, dog. Yeah, like he's not he's not just like you know waking up one morning. Hey, I'm good to know. It's in his blood, like you yeah. said. He grew, it grew up with him and everything. And as far as that caption. That he put on Instagram. I I don't want to misquote the man. He um. Oh, I mean, having strong enemies is no, not that one. Oh. That that was chilling. That was chilling though. That was his last tweet before he died. Having strong enemies that is very chilling though. That's like some movie script shit though. Mm. So you can't even make some of this shit up. It said demonstration speaks louder than conversation. They're gonna feed us every image of our men and boys, but not this one. No hyperviolent, no homosexual, no abandoners. Just strong black men and young men. Respect to the big homie, and da da da. And then he uh, he apologized. Said, "I don't look down on gay people. I love all God's children for real. I take issue with the larger agenda, and I'm very well informed." He capitalized. Yeah. That, contrary to my appearance, and my conclusion is there's an agenda. We can go fact for fact and get you some understanding if you'd like. If not, God bless. Yeah. That's how you punch someone in the face exactly. with words. <laughs> yeah, no, he was prepared to back himself up. Exactly. Mm. He's, he's not one of those dumb niggas that just say just some say shit, shit and, you know, it can't back it up. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like like he said, contrary to my appearance, mm -hmm. I may have the face tats and the chains mm -hmm. and I look like a gang bearer and, you know, I represent the world in the 60s, but... He's still a smart. He's still a smart young man. He still has his shit in order. Mm. You can't put that dumb rapper label on him. No oh. word. And then when it comes to rap, he can spit too. <laughs> on top of that, so don't get it confused, man. And he be and he be in the hood, man. He be in yeah. the hood. Like Nick, a lot of people know him and don't even know his name. Like I told my pops on Monday, I'm like, man, I'm upset about this. And he's like, yeah, I didn't even know I knew him. He's like, cause oh, you know he him? said like he heard the name. His girl was talking about it, and then. Um, he was like, oh, I don't know these rappers. I just there's a lot of new young LA dudes I don't know. My dad be all around, and um, he knows him from Lamert Park when he used to be out there chilling. Sometimes. Oh, okay. And like I, I would know that because my pops had me in Lamert Park all the damn time so much. I just be like, Dad, can we go home? So <laughs> like, like yeah, but there's a like, for those of y'all who don't know Lamert Park in LA, it's in the hood. And I think it's being a little more gentrified now, if I'm not mistaken. But like I haven't been there in a while. But they always from back in like, you know, the late 90s, early 2000s, when I used to be out there, it was like African bookstore, African dance studio. Like it was a little strip mm -hmm. by this um circle that was like just black, mm -hmm. African, mm -hmm. like a little African gift shop, like all kinds of stuff. And it was all black owned. It was dope. And he said it's he used to see him out there. And like, you know. They always used to have each other up, and he's you know he's just one of them dudes that's cool in the hood with everybody. So he made he was upset because he's been part in part in those conversations, you know, in groups with him, like mm -hmm. when he's educating people and talking about knowing yourself and mm -hmm. buying land and mm -hmm. buying your properties and investing in the community and mm -hmm. putting your money together. So mm -hmm. like he was like, damn man, they took out a good one. Yeah, he was like so it, it's, it's crazy like, how he was really out there. He's <laughs> universally well, loved. Yeah. Like I've never seen cops. Love a rapper so much. It's crazy. Yeah. When uh, the, I guess the chief of the LAPD was announcing, he said he had to do a triple check at the paper, like not Nipsey. Yeah. I'm like, damn, yeah, everybody loves him. Because Nipsey had a meeting with him <coughs> for April 1st. <coughs> um, he had a meeting with him to, um, was he the commissioner? No, not the commissioner. 
the, not the, I, yeah, I'm not the sure. police I'm not chief sure. of the LAPD mm-hmm. uh, uh, about, you know, to discuss, you know, ways to reduce gang violence and things mm-hmm. like that. So, mm-hmm. and we already know him and YG, um, Nipsey Hussle and YG were good friends. Yeah. Uh, became good friends. Even though they're obviously they had gangs. trouble. They had trouble before, I believe, but okay. they became good friends. And we all seen Game's reaction and everything. And, you know, it's yeah, just I, fucked up. That you know? nigga almost cried. You can hear so, it in his voice, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So after, after we mourn, let's just continue on. And, like, you let his spirit live on throughout what he taught us and what is still teaching us through the music. Because his type of music is the music you listen to more, more than once. Mm-hmm. And, and like, oh, snap, I ain't hear that before. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you really care about Nipsey and if you ain't no dick rider... <laughs> if you're not a bandwagoner, go mm-hmm. ahead and educate yourself with this music and take mm-hmm. that as a springboard to go and learn about other things and build up your community. Right. Yeah, and straight up. Plain and simple. I'm not going to lie. I, right. I listened to uh, Victory Lap for the first time last month. Oh, no. I, I, that shit's hard as fuck. I bro. listened to it last year. Oh, yeah. From... Yeah, I remember the first time I heard of Nipsey was on a freshman class, 2010. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Nipsey, J-Rock, J. Cole... Um, it was a bunch of like he was, popping rappers. He now. was more obscure, yeah, uh, back then. But I remember like this uh, homeboy from school, uh, from the Caribbean club. He was like, I used to chill with him, be like, "Yo, this nigga Nipsey Hustle." I was listening to this shit, man. And, yeah. Like I was like, "Oh, this is kind of dope," but like he never like blew up, blew up on the radio or anything. But mm-hmm. he was still like he he had respect. Yeah, he, yeah, he was well respected. Continued yeah, on, so yeah. and that just. And and also, man, like we gotta appreciate people while they're here, you know, and make sure, you know, cause you mm-hmm. never know, man. Cause it, it, give people the flowers while they can still smell exactly, it. dog. And no, that, I agree with you, but I feel like Nipsey got his flowers when he was here. He did. He did. I feel he got like a lot did. of love. He was starting yeah. to. He was starting to. No, it was nah, he was getting love. Was yeah, 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 but he, he had love before everybody. Anybody before like, the Grammy nomination? All yeah, everybody. No, yeah, knows. yeah. He was. He, he had love. He definitely was. He and, had love. And I wonder. I wonder if it was like. Cause you know, I don't know. I feel like life is funny. It is, and I feel <laughs> like, you know, I, you think maybe part of the reason why he got that was because he was gonna go early. He got what? Like all the love and like all right. one you know, that, that season of like. Just, oh yeah, you know? I see what you said. I see what you said. I yeah, for, some I stuff forgot, lines I forgot up. the quote. Jay Z quoted somebody at his acceptance speech the other day, and he says something like, "It's not." The length of your life, but it's the life you put in some shit. <laughs> but I, I think I get it's what like you're the saying. life. You know, it's not the length of your life, but it's how much life you put in your time here. Type. Oh, okay, I get what you're that saying. That makes sense. And it's like yeah. and he definitely you know, pumped a lot of life. And yeah, he, put all, he gave a lot of life, and yeah, that's a lifetime you know, worth of influence. Huh? Mm-hmm. Damn, man, that's an awful way to go. And like I, so violent that it's awful. Yeah, like I don't, I don't even want to talk about it. Like. How he killed him, like shot don't him. don't even like let's yeah. Not even like give if, it if that. you know, you know. If you I, know, man, I it's think just... I think we should leave on a note of positivity. Like Absolutely, I said, man. like remember the message that he taught. Use his music and his interviews, his document. There's plenty of documentaries on what he did. Um, if you you know you can see his spirit and all that, then and, and and use that as a springboard to educate yourself and 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 build on that. So let's keep it positive and. You know, I hope that they they find the real murderers or whatever. Yeah, get down to the, the truth. real murderer. Yeah, get down get, to the yeah, truth absolutely. and like handle that. Mm-hmm. And like, um, I, 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 we we pray for comfort for Nipsey's family. Yeah, for Lauren, for Lauren London, oh gosh, and his children, me, and it's you know that's and uh, let's stop circulating all this messed up stuff around the media too, yeah. and like. Just show more respect for our loved ones. So yeah, show them in a good light. Yeah, man, he deserves it. True. More than deserves it. I think we could close it on that. Yeah, man. What y'all say? R.I.P. Nip. Word. Yeah, R.I.P. Nip. Word. This is Flocka Zulu, aka Sir Black Star Third, aka Papa X Speech, aka No More AK. Stop the fucking violence. For real. No mm. drop off after that. Stop the violence. Word. Word. It is boy dramatic, aka Loud Pack Chopper, aka Wade Chappelle, aka Wavy McGrady, aka Black Galifianakis. <laughs> Soon to be BKA sick James bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's your boy, I seen Black Dynamite. Yeah, I just put two of them together and it's your boy. Dynamite. Way big. Dynamite. <laughs> Fro coming back. Dynamite. Hey. hey. Dynamite. Okay, so <laughs> and you know it's your boy. 
Wade Bixby, a.k.a. Holy Buckaroaches, a.k.a. Shabby Ranks, because, you know, I be shabby as fuck sometimes, and you know it's your boy, always. And remember to be, just like Nipsey Hussle taught us all, Swiss Army niggas, Swiss Army niggas, Swiss Army niggas, Swiss Army niggas. <laughs> TBSG out.